Now that we have looked into the concept of independent variable, dependent variables, mediators and moderators. In this particular session, the focus is on understanding the difference between mediators and moderators. This session is already available on the channel, but now I thought that adding this particular session again with this series will help the scholars and will not break the flow as well. So I'm just attaching that earlier video with this session. The original link will also be shared in the description. Now many a times we are confused as to what is a mediator and what is a moderator. Now precisely there is a significant difference between the two concepts and they should not be confused with each other in any way. For example, in the diagram that you see on your screen, W is a moderator that is moderating the relationship between X and M. So the arrow from W is pointing towards another arrow. Whereas M is a mediator and an arrow is pointing towards the variable rather than the relationship. So a moderator points towards the relationship whereas a mediator has an arrow pointed towards it and an arrow pointing from it towards another variable. Moving on, a mediated relationship also referred to as an indirect relationship is defined by the presence of one or more variables that intervene to transmit the influence for example from variable x to variable y. In particular, in mediation analysis, researchers examine whether a change in independent variable brings about a change in a mediator, which in turn results in changes in the dependent variable. As we saw earlier, X influences M, M influences Y. So X brings about a change in M and M brings about a change in Y. The analysis considers three relationships, a direct path between the independent and dependent variable here it is between X and Y. A first stage path representing the link between an independent variable and the mediator. Here it is X and M. And finally, the second stage signifying the relationship between the mediator and the dependent variable. Here it is M and Y. However, in contrast, a moderating effect is defined by the presence of a variable that changes the influence of variable X on Y by impacting the nature, direction or strength of relationship. Here it is. So here W is a moderator that could strengthen or weaken this particular relationship or it may altogether change the relationship from positive to negative or negative to positive. Now let's have a look at it in a more detailed manner. Let's assume I've got this variable IV here and I've got this DV here, dependent variable. Now let's say I want to explain how IV influences the DV. So in order to carry out this explanation, what I would need is I would need to find out what and how IV influences another variable, maybe another mediating variable and how this variable influences this variable. Now in this case, this is your mediating variable. Now let's assume, for example, we all have experienced a job stress in our organizations. And we normally say that job stress leads to deteriorating organizational performance. Now, is it that simple? Not really. Actually, what happens is there are a lot of other variables intervening this particular relationship. Normally, what happens is that job stress will influence the employee's ability to communicate effectively. That will affect maybe the coordination within the organization. That may affect the level of internal service quality. And they, that may affect the level of external service quality. And that may lead to poor organizational performance. There could be other mediators as well. So all these here, these are your mediators. Look at this, job stress leading to poor communication, Poor communication leading to low coordination, low coordination leading to low internal service quality and low internal service quality leading to low external service quality that ultimately leads to poor organizational performance. So this is or these are your mediators. So they are explaining the relationship that how job stress leads to 
poor organizational performance. So what happens is X causes Y, Y causes Z. So this is your mediator. Now let me give you another example for a moderator. Next, let's say I've got this variable here, collaborative culture, that is influencing organizational performance. Now, with an increase in collaborative culture, there could be or there should be improved organizational performance. Now, there could be a third variable that could influence this particular relationship here. Now, the variable that is influencing this relationship here is your moderator. Now, that third variable is not explaining how CC will influence OP. It's rather modifying this relationship. It may be positively affecting this relationship. It may be negatively affecting this particular relationship. Now, in this case, that variable could be job stress. So what happens is, let's say we assume that with improved collaborative culture, there will be improved organizational performance. However, this particular relationship, this positive relationship will be weakened if there is job stress within the organization. So a higher level of job stress would weaken this particular relationship. Now this relationship, now this variable here, job stress is actually impacting the relationship rather than it influencing the variables here. So job stress is your moderator because it is changing the existing relationship. Maybe it is strengthening the relationship, but in this case, it is weakening the relationship. Let me give you another example. Let's assume we've got another variable. Let's say it is servant leadership. So servant leadership could influence organizational performance. Improved servant leadership would lead to improved organizational performance this particular relationship may be further strengthened if the organization has improved social responsibility. So higher social responsibility would lead to improved relationship between these two variables. I hope this session would have helped you understand the difference between mediators and moderators. Thank you very much.